Hi guys, welcome to a Hey Math Group. Let's say that you have a problem like this one. If you receive $300 at the end of each year for the first three years, and then $9,382 at the end of each year for the next two years, what is the future value of this cash flow stream? Assume the interest rate is 7%. All right, so how do we do this problem? Very easy. First, you need to make sure you have your timeline. Remember, you're receiving it at the end of each year. You're gonna be having $300 the first three years, and then year number four, you're gonna be getting 9,382, and finally, again, 9,382. How do I find the cash flow, or actually, how do I find the future value when I have a cash flow stream? Well, look, everyone is different right here. If I had $300 on year four and on year five, I just, you know, put in my calculator that my payments are 300 and then just find the future value. But in this case, I cannot do this because look, I have different cash flow. So how do we do it? Well, if you're doing this by hand, you need to follow the uh, you need to do the following formula. Future value, present value is equals to future value. That means this 300, 300 over one plus the rate, which is 7%, and then elevated to how many periods you're going back. So in this case, your formula by hand will look like this. 300 over one plus 0 0.7, um, which is, you know, 0 0.07, which is the interest rate. Uh, this is to the one plus 300 over the same thing too, and so on. Let's do this actually in the calculator and let's see how easy it's gonna be. Okay, so we are here in our calculator. I want you to go to apps and then click enter. And then we're going to go to the function MPV. Remember, we need to bring all of these cash flows to the present. So the first argument you need to put is the rate, which I'm gonna put seven comma. The second argument you need to put in the calculator is the cash flow, the initial cash flow. Well, in this case, it's just zero then put another comma. Then you need to put brackets, which you do by doing second and then brackets, as you can see in the calculator, and then we're gonna do 300 comma 300, and then comma 300 again, comma 9,382, comma 9,382, and then you need to close your brackets and then your parentheses. If not, the calculator is going to give you a mistake. Bingo. I got my net present value. This amount is going to be at the beginning of the period, but I need the future value. So I just multiply this by 1 plus 0 0.07, because remember, I need to bring all this all the way to the last fifth year. And this is a single cash flow. So the future value is going to be 20,524.96. And that's how easy it is. Please don't forget to watch our other videos. Also remember, you can Skype with us. And also, thanks so much for learning.